The next morning I woke up to mist and couldn't see the mountains. My return north was postponed until afternoon, and I went out for a run in the brisk, moist air. I wended my way through neighborhoods of cozy homes and modest cars, smiling as a miniature collie behind a chain-link fence raced from one border of the yard to another, barking frantically at falling leaves. The owner emerged from the house as I went past. Now, shooter, hush up. The woman wore a quilted robe, fuzzy slippers, and curlers, and didn't seem to mind a bit walking outside like that. She picked up the newspaper and smacked it against her palm as she yelled some more. I imagined that prior to Emily Steiner's death, the only crime anyone worried about in this part of the world was a neighbor stealing your newspaper or stringing toilet paper through your trees.